Hello all of you. In this video, we are going to learn about different problems based on Thevenin's theorem from different universities. So this is from JNTU Anantapur, November, December 2017, Electrical Circuit Analysis 1 for 8 marks. So this is the problem. So in this branch, we are going to find the current using Thevenin's theorem. The first rule is that we have to disconnect this particular element so we will be getting the circuit like this okay so this circuit has to be transformed to the thevenin equivalent circuit like this v thevenin and r thevenin so v thevenin first let us calculate so v thevenin means open circuit voltage that is vab so here we got the open circuit across ab so that's why vab will be considered as thevenin voltage so what is the simplest path to reach from a to b this is 4 ohms. So that means voltage across 4 ohm will be considered as V Thevenin. Okay. Now, somehow we need to find the current flowing through this branch. So for that what I am doing, I identified a node here. Let us assume the node voltage as V. If the direction is not specified, take always leaving from the node. Okay. So now apply KCL at this particular node. So that means current flowing through this branch plus current flowing through this branch is equal to 2 ampere. So what is the current flowing through this branch? This is V by sorry V minus 12 by 6. What is the current here? So V by we are having two elements and they were connected in series. So 6 plus 4 that is 10. So it is V by 10 equal to 2. The same equations we can observe here. Okay. So current flowing through 6 current flowing through 10. If you solve this particular equation, there we can get the value for voltage V. Okay, so this is not the solution. We need to find voltage across 4 ohm resistor. For that, we need this branch current. What is this branch current? V by 10. So the same current will flow through 4 also. So that's why, what is the current flowing through 4 ohm resistor? That is V by 10 into 4 there we get the voltage ok so after the calculations we can get the cal uh, value for V Thevenin that is 16.07 volts now it is the time to calculate R Thevenin so from this circuit only you have to consider but you should not have any sources if voltage source is 0 it should be replaced by a short circuit if current source becomes zero, it will, it will be replaced by open circuit. So if we do so, the circuit seems to be like this. So these two resistors were connected in series. This combination is in parallel with 4 ohm. Okay, so that is the resistance across AB. So R Thevenin means wherever you got the open circuited terminals. So between those two terminals, what is the resistance? That resistance will be called as R Thevenin. So we will, we, we have calculated 3 ohm resistor. Now this is the Thevenin equivalent circuit, right? So repeat this Thevenin equivalent circuit with values like this. Okay, now you have disconnected this 1 ohm resistor no, in the problem. Now you connect this 1 ohm resistor in the equivalent circuit like this. So we observe a simple loop. So apply ohms law I equal to V by R formula by having 2 and both were connected in series. So V that is V Thevenin by R we are having 2 were connected in series. So therefore R Thevenin plus 1. There we get the current I. Now, is that current flowing through 1 ohm? Yes. So, that's why the current passing through 1 ohm is nothing but our I. That is, what is the value? 4.075 ampere. Okay. In this way, we have to do the problem. Now, let us go with the second problem. Okay. See. This is the problem from JNTU Hyderabad. December 2016 basic electrical and electronics engineering for six marks so this is the problem so here you need to find the current so first step what you need to do you have to disconnect this element if we do so we'll be having the circuit like this let us name the terminals as X and Y 
so for some time you don't uh, uh, assume the loop currents okay so you don't imagine now what is v thevenin we need to find the thevenin equivalent circuit so first step v thevenin finding so what is v thevenin open circuit voltage that is vxy which is the simplest path this is the simplest path or you may also consider this path so here i have considered this path okay so since this is a loop the current will circulate like this so here the current will uh, i imagine the current uh, is circulating in this way okay so i name them as i1 and i2 now according to this current direction this is plus this is minus according to this current direction this is plus and this is minus now what is the voltage across 3 ohm resistor straight away we can say it as 6 because these two are connected in parallel but still i have done the problem okay so see uh, what is i1 i equal to v by r formula right so 6 by 3 how much okay so 2 ampere now is there any do uh, is there any uh, need for uh, doing the calculation for i2 so straight away i2 can be taken as 3 ampere okay so i2 equal to 3 ampere now according to the polarity write the equation okay so what is uh, starting from x what polarity you are getting plus that is voltage across 3 ohm now minus polarity you are getting minus voltage across 4 ohm there you can reach the point y okay so the same you can observe here so if you do the calculation you will be getting minus 6 volts now v thevenin is over that v x y is nothing but our v thevenin right now let us calculate r thevenin so how you do a r thevenin value in this particular network only we should not consider any sources so here is the voltage source it will be replaced by the short circuit current source it will be replaced by open circuit because we we are not going to consider the sources so that means we are making all the sources into zeros okay if we do so the circuit seems to be somewhat like this so here is a short circuit that means r equal to 0 so if you do the calculation you can actually omit this 3 ohm resistor so 0 into 3 by 0 plus 3 okay if you do the calculation also you will be getting 0 only so that's why there is no need to have the 3 ohm resistor so if we neglect then it seems to be like this so what is the resistance between x and y simply 4 ohms so without any calculation so r thevenin is 4 ohm okay now what we are doing we are substituting v thevenin and r thevenin values and we have disconnected this uh, 2 ohm resistor no so now you connect this 2 ohm resistor here there you can observe a closed loop okay now by simple ohms law what is i v by r so v is minus 6 by resistance 4 plus 2 there you get the current as minus 1 ampere so that's why what we can conclude the current flowing through 2 ohm is what i isn't it i so i is minus 1 ampere now what it mean if you get any negative sign that means the current is not flowing in this direction the current is flowing in the opposite direction so if you want to stop the problem at this point you can stop or if you want to even more modify this you can modify like this okay so minus 6 is there no you can replace that with uh, minus and plus like this there you can write 6 volts so the current direction you can consider in this way so that you can uh, have a positive value for the current okay so this is how we need to do the problem now let us go with the other problem okay so this is the problem uh from jain to you hyderabad may june 2017 basic electrical and electronics engineering for 5 marks okay so now in this problem we need to find the current in this branch first step disconnect this particular element if we disconnect there we get the circuit like this don't imagine the loop currents okay you draw the circuit only okay now this is point a and this is point b so uh, these are the points at which we are getting the open circuit now v thevenin means what 
open circuit voltage that means V Thevenin will be considered as VAB. So what is the path to reach from A to B? We have four possibilities here. So this is the first possibility, this is the second possibility and this is the third possibility and this is the fourth possibility. Okay. Now here I have considered the first way that is this path. Okay. Now you imagine the current directions. Okay. So this is the I1 and this is I2. Okay, now this is the first mesh and this is the second mesh. Now, writing for the mesh 1 equation, we need to apply KVL. No element here, no element here. So, now here we are having 12 ohm resistor. So, voltage across 12 plus voltage across 12 minus 6 equal to 0. You can observe the same equation here. Now, what is the voltage across 12 ohm resistor? You are writing mesh 1 equation. So, keep I1 as positive first. How I2 is acting? So, I1 is flowing in this direction. I2 is flowing in the reverse direction. So, we need to consider I2 as a minus value. So, that is why 12 into I1 minus I2. You can observe. Now, coming to the second one. Second, here also 12 ohm resistor is there. You are writing for mesh 1. I1 is flowing in this direction. I2 is flowing in the opposite direction. So, here also I1 minus I2 you need to consider. So, we have written the same kind of equation here. If you solve this equation, this minus 6 turn to the other side. So, you get the plus value. So, solve it. You will be getting the first equation. Now, coming to the second mesh. Okay, so this is voltage across 4 ohm plus voltage across 8 plus voltage across 12 plus voltage across 12 equal to 0. So, what is the voltage across 4 ohm resistor? This is 4I2, here 8I2. Now, this 12 is common for second mesh and first mesh. Okay, now you are writing for mesh 2. I2 has to be positive. How I1 is acting towards I2? It is acting in the opposite direction. So, I1 has to be negative now. Now, what is the voltage drop across 12 ohm resistor? 12 into I2 minus I1. Now, here also, what is the voltage across 12 ohm resistor? 12 into I2. For I2, I1 is acting in the reverse way. So, minus I1. Okay. So, the same equation can be observed here. Okay. So, if you solve this equation, you will be getting second equation. Solve these two equations, you will be getting I1 and I2 values like this. Now, can we write V Thevenin now? Look at the polarities. Now, you look at the polarities. So, if the current is flowing in this way, this is plus, this is minus. Okay. So, now, if the current is flowing in this way, this is plus, this is minus. I was just following this polarity. Okay. So, starting from A. Okay. So, starting from A, minus is coming. So, minus voltage across 4 ohm again minus is coming so minus voltage across 12 ohm there you can reach from a to b okay right what is the voltage across 4 ohm resistor is that not 4 i2 c is that not 4 i2 yes what is the voltage across 12 so you are following this direction and you are counting it on the other side so if current is flowing in this way, this is plus and this is minus. So, I1 minus I2. So, this is the current flowing in this direction. Okay. Now, so substitute that. You will be getting V Thevenin value. Now, it is the time to calculate R Thevenin value. Let us see how that can be. Okay. So, what we do? We should not consider this voltage source. That means it has to be 0. Then it will be replaced by a short circuit. Let us see. Okay. So the circuit seems to be somewhat like this. Okay. Now, uh, for understanding purpose, I have considered the points here X and Y. So, so many people will feel uh, difficult at this kind of uh, uh, problem or something like that. So now, there is no uh, such kind of uh, doubt should be there. It is very easy. So, write point A here and then X. Is this X is not equal to Y? Yes. So, X comma Y you write 
and then you write point B. Now 4 is connected between A and X. So write like this. And 12 is connected between X and B. Write. And A, uh, 8 is connected between A and Y. So A and Y. Now this 12 is also connected between Y and B. Done. So these two are connected in parallel. These two are connected in parallel. And both were in series. So add. So what is the resistance between AB? 4 parallel to 8 plus 12 parallel to 12. Like this we can do the calculation so that we will get our Thevenin. Now you replace the Thevenin equivalent circuit with values. And you have disconnected the 2 ohm resistor no? Now you add that 2 ohm resistor. Now it is a simple loop find I. What is I? V by RTH plus 2. Do the calculation, we will be getting the current I. Okay, now we go with the other problem. Okay, so this is from JNTU Hyderabad, December 2017. Again, a B triple subject for 6 marks. So, here in this problem, we need to find the voltage response across 5 ohm resistor. Okay, now using Thevenin's theorem, first you disconnect this element, then the circuit seems to be somewhat like this. So, uh, I just uh, named those terminals as x, y. It is a simple loop, yes, I just followed the current direction. Okay, so according to this direction, this is plus and this is minus. Now, what is V Thevenin? V Thevenin is voltage across x, y because it is open circuit voltage. So, now x to y in order to reach from x to y which is the path this is the only path okay so that is voltage across 5 plus voltage i mean 20 there you reach point y so in this way we can write so what is the current in this loop simply without any calculation what is the current 10 ampere so 10 into 5 will give you the voltage drop across 5 ohm resistor plus 20. There you get the value for V Thevenin. Now it is the time to calculate R Thevenin. Okay. So now consider this circuit. Don't consider the sources. Okay. So don't consider the sources. Voltage source 0 means it will be replaced by a short circuit. Current source 0 means it will be replaced by open circuit. So if we do so, the circuit seems to be like this. Okay. Now is there any need to do any calculation directly? What is R Thevenin? R Thevenin is the resistance across XY. Now, what is the resistance across XY? Simply 5 ohms. Now, you replace the Thevenin equivalent circuit with values. Now, you have disconnected this 5 ohm resistor, no? Now, you add the resistor. It is a simple loop. Do the calculation for the current I. Okay, so now I is equal to according to Ohm's law V by this resistance 5 plus 5. There you got 7 ampere. Now, the problem is not at over. You are supposed to uh, calculate voltage but not current. That means you got the current. So, that should be multiplied by 5. There you get the voltage drop across 5 ohm resistor. Okay, simple. And that is 5 into I. So, 5 into 7. That is 35 volts. In this way, we can do the calculations for Thevenin's theorem. So, here in this video, I have not considered dependent sources. So, I, I made a video uh, based on dependent sources, uh, both on uh, Thevenin's as well as Norton's. So, please do verify that video. And if you are having any doubts, you can comment. I will be definitely answering those questions. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.